race it's indeed a very interesting project. Um, I think it is focusing on some of the issues which are central if we want that the circular economy would be better implemented on a gap analysis. So in a way it is looking uh, to some of the issues which are horizontally the same problematic for various kind of regions, but at the, on the other hand it's trying to identify also some specific challenges which are existing in various regions, which do depend on their level of development, position and so on, structure. And I think that's exactly the way to go. So there are no recipes which one can uh, basically use uh, if you want to push, uh, to push circular economy ahead. And you simply need to go um, in depth into the analysis of various situations, regions, sectors, and through that uh, find out which things uh, works better than maybe in the other region. Key milestones. Uh, you basically need to combine a lot of different kind of policies. When I was asked uh, what policy you need to change most once I said practically all economic policies have to accommodate to this new kind of uh, circular way of thinking, new incentives. Uh, so you need to look through the through the regulation to market measures. I do in particular believe into the strength of the market measures. And then of course to other types of measures which are also existing. So um, there is no recipe which would work all across the board. But uh, there are some measures which are definitely very successful, like uh, designing the products in a different way, like uh, organizing business models in a different way, like uh, extending producers' responsibility so that uh, producers are responsible for uh, the product till end of life and via that they behave differently uh, than they have behaved in normal linear kind of production model. And then of course uh, there is uh, the whole plentitude of, of uh, things which are uh, in a domain of the government in particular of the financial ministry, that's the tax structure, uh, then subsidies, public procurement, all those things are enormous, uh, has, has enormous potential uh, through which you can stimulate the circular economy. The future of the Europe, that was uh, how to avoid conflicts and war. And we raised the sovereignty at that time on a higher level. And uh, I think that currently the world is standing uh, in front of pretty much the same challenge and uh, that Europe could play a very important role in this new governance which would be needed uh, because we have a lot of good and bad experiences from the last 70 years of working together. So my vision for, uh, for sustainability is that, that we simply start to understand that uh, without respecting the consequences of the side effects on the environment and on the human health and focusing predominantly on the short-term maximization of the profits will not do good for anybody. And we simply need to think longer term. In the 21st century we have no more luxury to think short term. It is absolutely clear that for the first time in the human history we are living in a socio-economic space of a planetary scope. So we are so interconnected and so interdependent like we have never been till now, which means that our individual and collective responsibility has enormously increased. And Europe should play in that respect uh, a leading role uh, from all the things which I have already mentioned. And more than that, I firmly believe that the change of economic model in the direction of the circularity in particular it's something which makes not only economic sense for Europe, but it's the core element for our competitiveness in the future. And if you understand uh, that in that way, 
uh, then uh, you would not use arguments why not to change, but rather why those changes faster, quicker, better, deeper, because this is in essence uh, where our future development lies.